As a longtime fan of George Clooney's work, it's been a roller coaster ride watching his films over the past eight years. The man who once graced our screens with our consistent fresh scores has seen a significant dip in critical acclaim, a street I've affectionately dubbed as the Clooney Curse. But oh boy, did it feel like weight was lifted off my shoulders when I heard about the impressive Rotten Tomato score of his latest movie, Wolf's. It's been eight years since Hail Caesar, and this is super own first score is like a worn, familiar hug from good old George. You know, like... In eight years, Wolf's has secured the top Rotten Tomatoes rating for George Clooney's performance. This film, starring both Brad Pitt and George Clooney, presents them as two independent troubleshooters who unexpectedly find themselves assigned to the same task and are compelled to collaborate in order to extricate themselves from a tricky predicament. Directed by John Watts, who is known for Spider-Man No Way Home, this movie also includes Amy Ryan, Austin Abrams, Porna Jagannathan, Richard Kind, and the voice of Francis McDormand as part of its ensemble cast. Uh, at the moment, the reviews compiled by Rotten Tomatoes for the film Wolfs, which had its world premiere at the 81st Venice International Film Festival, stand at a fresh rating of 71%. This is based on 11 different critics' opinions. As more reviews come and leading up to the official release date, the score may change. Notably, this is currently the highest fresh score for a movie starring George Clooney since the Coen Brothers movie Hail Caesar back in 2016, which had a certified fresh rating of 86%. And uh, George Clooney's dismal Rotten Tomato streak explained. It's uh, Clooney has earned splats both as an actor and a director. Uh, Hail uh, Caesar. Uh, 2016, uh, actor Baird Whitlock, 86%, Lee dies, not any poster for, and what they can't be learned about Nanai dies, it, it put it all. But that means that. And there's, there's big people that have been wrong, and there's Pick You, specifically here in, in Suburbicon called Fox the Midnight Sky, 2020 director, actor Augustine, 49%. And that was the tender bar director, uh, over 51% of 2,257 director. Uh, Ticket to Paradise actor David, 56% of uh, the Boys in the Boat, 2023 director, 57%. Uh, and one of those wool actors won and prepared two for really important uh, during the past 724. Uh, actors had 73%, seems like TV and Seeker, uh, TV... Uh, scheduled and uh, despite generally receiving poor reviews from critics for his films over the past eight years audiences have found George Clooney's movies appealing although Hail Caesar received a low audience rating of 44 percent on a popcorn meter three of his films between 2016 and now have been well received by viewers these include The Tender Bar, Ticket to Paradise and The Boys in the Boat. The latter are in been labeled verified hot on the popcorn meter. Uh, it's yet to be determined if the initial reviews for uh, Wolf's signal that George Clooney's string of less successful phones over the past decade might finally come to an end. Instead, it could mark the start of a new wave of critically acclaimed movies for him. The next film on Clooney's slate is a currently unmanned project directed by Noah Bomba which could significantly inch his chances of early another positive reception from critics. His Bombach has been enjoying a fresh Rotten Tomato streak since 2014. With that said, thanks for watching and till next time. As a longtime fan of George Clooney's work, it's been a roller coaster ride watching his films over the past eight years. The man who once graced our screens with consistent fresh scores has seen a significant dip in critical acclaim, a streak I've affectionately dubbed as the Clooney curse. But, oh uh, boy, did it feel like a weight was lifted off my shoulders when I heard about the impressive Rotten Tomatoes score of his latest movie, Wolves. Told it's been eight years since Hail Caesar. And this fresh score is like a warm, familiar hug from good old George.
In eight years, Wolves has secured the top Rotten Tomatoes rating for George Clooney's performance. This film, starring both Brad Pitt and George Clooney, presents them as two independent troubleshooters who unexpectedly find themselves assigned to the same task and are compelled to collaborate in order to extricate themselves from a tricky predicament. Directed by John Watts, who was known as Spider-Man No Way Home, this movie also includes Amy Ryan, Austin Abrams, Horna Jaganathan, Richard Kind, and the voice of Francis McDormand as part of its ensemble cast. Um, you know, at the moment, the reviews compiled by Rotten Tomatoes for the film Wolves, which had its world premiere at the 81st Venice International Film Festival, stand at a fresh and rating of 71%. This is based on 11 different critics' opinions. As more reviews come in leading up to the official release date, this score may change. Notably, there is currently the highest fresh score for a movie starring George Clooney since the Calm Brothers movie Hail Caesar back in 2016, which had a certified fresh rating of the 86%. George Clooney's dismal Rotten Tomatoes streak explained. Uh, Clooney has earned splats both as an actor and a director. Uh, Hail Caesar, uh, 2016. Actor Baird Whitlock, 86%. Uh, uh, Money Monster, uh, 2016. Uh, actor Lee Gates, 59%. Uh, and also, even many of them Suburbicon 2017, um, director 27 percent, um, and then when you see this person before and and they're going to mind uh, a combination uh, from uh, from the 2020 20, and I I'm and I'm good to see uh, the Midnight Sky uh, director actor August. It's consistently really worried. I tender bar shows the way that makes people they are appeal to work, and I've done the feel work and you set and that's and that's something I've done and their decision they were a completed lap of seven percent of their design so's gotten consecrated so not over time I uh, I probably don't really want to solve them about that inside but uh, uh, the boys in the boat 2023 director 57 uh, percent uh, wolf's 2024 uh, actor Jack 73 uh, percent enough to keep them and talk to him, uh, spend more news. Uh, it's yet to be determined if the initial reviews for Wolf's signal that George Clooney's string of less successful films over the past decade might finally come to an end. Instead, it could mark the start of a new wave of critically acclaimed movies for him. The next film on Clooney's slate is a currently unnamed project directed by Noah Baumbach which could significantly increase his chances of earning another positive reception from critics, as Baumbach has been enjoying a fresh Rotten Tomatoes streak since 2014. And with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.